Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode at Wackerash Gaming. There is something brewing in the neighborhood. First came the water splash feature, then came the power conditioner. Now, there's something new in the water. Reservoir Raid, the summit will be coming your way pretty soon. So let's check it out. Please do keep in mind that the information that I'm going to share with you comes from the PTR server. Generally, most of the releases in the PTR server has found its way into the live servers. Whilst the developers may change a few things, the essence of the concept should be largely similar. So, with a high level of confidence, I won't be surprised if we will see this released pretty soon. Who will be eligible for the Mini Raid League? 38 weeks after the opening of Estate Alliances can register to participate in the Reservoir Raid. The Summit. After this, the original rating system will be abolished and replaced by a ranking system. What is the ranking system? There are five ranks in the ranking system. Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, and Diamond. When a new season kicks off, alliances are assigned initial ranks based on their relative strength. Whilst this could be subject to change, here is an idea. Bronze ranking, where your alliance was awarded a ranking score of 94, 92 and below. Silver ranking, where your alliance was awarded a ranking score between 11,763 to 9,493. Gold ranking, where your alliance was awarded a ranking score between 28,535 to 11,764. Platinum ranking, where your alliance was awarded a ranking score between 33,726 and 28,536. Then finally, the diamond ranking, where your alliance was awarded a ranking score of 33,727 and above. In the PTR server, COK was given a ranking score of 33,726, thus for the first game under this new rank, was awarded the platinum rank. How many games are there per season? There are 12 games held per season, and you can improve your ranking by winning games, thus obtaining ranking points. Meanwhile, losing does not cost you any ranking points. The number of points earned also depends on the strength of the enemy alliance. What times are available to participate in the Reservoir Raid, the Summit? There are changes to the start time, where the Summit always kicks off on a Saturday. During registration, Alliance leaders are offered four time slots, 0400 UTC, 1100 UTC, 1600 UTC and 2100 UTC. Alliance leaders will need to select three of the four time slots by order of their Alliance preferences. What are the winning rewards? Upon winning our test game over the weekend, COK participants were awarded the standard rewards for winning the match, with all Alliance members receiving the standard Alliance rewards. I hope this will be maintained. In addition to this, at the end of each season of the Reservoir Raid, the Summit, Alliances are issued amazing rewards based on their final rank and number of wins achieved by their Alliance. Therefore, if taking COK Alliance as an example, whom were promoted to the Diamond rank following the win over the weekend, there is a possibility to win up to 120 Legendary Fragments, 120 Legendary Badges and 300 Crates of Resources, which looks pretty good. Now like yourself, I still do have questions surrounding this, for example, will this replace the Reservoir League? Will survivors be able to leave Alliances and participate in other Alliances in the middle of the Reservoir Raid, the Summit? Will the Reservoir Raid, the Summit be every Saturday, or will it be every other Saturday? I'm very sure folks here will have more questions, and whilst I do not have the answers immediately to all your questions, I can surely collect these and try my best to find it out. Well, that's all folks, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please do subscribe, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos.